Yeah, and I will give up my secret spot, which is fine. Because then I'll check there and I'll go somewhere else. <laughs> I'm setting up my stream. Um, yeah, this will probably actually go to Frank's YouTube channel. You said 4,500? Yeah. Okay. And like I said, if you ever want to pause, just... We'll do a countdown. Okay, tell me when to start. I have a pause, so. That's weird. It put me on tick 4509. How dare you? That's unacceptable. I might end up inadvertently trash talking Arthur a little, but I'll be nice about it. I'll put it in neutral terms. Okay, I need to get on your POV. Okay. I, have, I have your arm. That'll work. I should probably go in first person on my POV. Uh, because I'm, I, I yeah. crash every There's time I do that. my arm up in the corner there. Yeah. Ready? Yeah, let's do it on go, so... Okay. Three, two, one, go. So, at the end of the round, obviously... You need to get in a position where you can see where people are coming from and where you can make a good pick. And I got a spot up here. I don't, know. I don't really know how to do an intro. Um, I've just revealed my secret spot to the whole world, and that will never be useful ever again. And I'm sorry to everyone who ever used this. This is the, the Frank West spot. This is the Frank West spot. Yeah. Although I've also heard it called the Raz spot. It's most and definitely And someone else the Frank called West it spot. their spot. I don't know. Um... All what I'm trying to do it. here, in addition to just waiting, is I'm trying to see where their sniper is, because that's a really useful call, because then we can... Our sniper knows where to aim ahead of time. Wait, oh wait, we re-exec here, I think. No, I don't think we actually do. I think we don't. I think we talked about it, but it doesn't happen. Okay. I could be wrong, though. There's one where we definitely do. It might not be this one. So the general thing I want to get across here is that you don't really want to go for the most kills possible. That's what I, I feel like a lot of spies just go for as many kills as they can, but you're never going to equal the kills or the damage output of your power classes unless your power classes aren't doing their job. So you have to wait. I mean, obviously, you want to kill the men because you're able to do that more than anyone else. I fuck up, but he pops. Yeah. Which is almost good. It's kind of good. Um, it's good for us. It's yeah. kind of good. It's a... It's not something I want to go for, and it's not something I'm gonna say, like, well, that's what I wanted, but... Yeah, like, well, if I fuck up, then yeah. at least I have a backup plan. Yeah, if they pop on a push map, it's a reset. Like, as mm -hmm. long as we don't die, it's good, and they pretty much have to build a brew again. And they, they popped early enough that they didn't quite do anything with it, so... I don't really remember what I do for this. I really like Cloak and Dagger. Um, on this point, I don't know how you're supposed to play it otherwise. But I like it in general as well. It like, could be really aggressive because you don't lose that much cloak time, and you gain a complete freedom from ammo kits, a complete freedom for when you want to uncloak and how to attack. As long as you don't play stupid and sit there. And he, he bumped me, but he bumped me with his back, so he didn't notice. But then the sniper did. Yeah. Um. So I just fucked up there. I should have watched behind me. I don't know. I'm a trash can. Um. You use the dead or not the dead the cloak and dagger more than any spy I've ever seen, and you use it more aggressively I, than most. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm always switching my loadout. I've actually decided I, I'm using I usually invis watch more on upwards usually than I do in this script. Um, at this point, I probably should switch to dead ring. I don't think they are for it as they had. I generally go to the dead ringer once I get into caves because caves has a lot of flanking parts you can get to for free. So you don't need cloak. Mm -hmm. So I, I I kind of want dead ringer here, and I didn't have it, and I got shut on by a scout. 
Yeah, there's been a bunch of games I've played recently where my loadout keeps getting reset. And that happened when I played Spy in the summer season, and my god, that was annoying to think I had Dead mm -hmm. Ringer and didn't. There's a, mo there's a certain amount of time right before you spawn where if you switch loadout, it doesn't always work. It's like a second or two. And that's really frustrating when I like switch it. I like decide the last second. You got caught um, out there, but. Yeah, I, I did. Point out that you capped, were disguised as me when you ran through there, so that's all. That's was, actually good. Like, I, I think yeah. th thinking the pyro is down on defense is kind of a mm -hmm. cue to push for I, a lot when, of teams. When everyone, so. I mean, I usually use friendly pyro when I dead ringer because it's just great in general. The friendly pyro has an excuse to be in the places where I want a dead ringer, and it's the kind of class where they'll fake put, where they'll push on it. I stop looking. Oh, no, there we go. I'm looking at myself again. Never mind. Yeah. It's the kind of class where it could cause them to fake a put to do a push at a bad. In general, friendly pyro and friendly sniper are, are good choices. I should probably do friendly sniper nor than now that we've got um, we have power. That was just indecision. Yeah, and pudding cup. <laughs> <laughs> and pudding cup. Pudding cup is really. Good. So maybe but, talk about like talking about earlier. Um, as long as I don't think I do that much this round, so I might as well talk about my overall yeah. goal, which is you're not going to get as many kills as your demo. You're not going to get even if you top the scoreboard, you're just getting double points for your kills. Like you're not, you're never going to equal the DPS no matter how hard you try. Mm -hmm. uh, it, the important thing is to get the right kills at the right times, not just whatever kills. And of course, med is always the right kill, but. The right kill, in my eyes, the best possible kill, above maybe even a medic, is the guy who's about to kill one of my teammates instead. Because, if he's a, like, if there's a heavy and he's about to, or even if it's like, a scout, and he's about to kill my scout, if I kill him, we're now two people up for my action, effectively. Nice shot. I lost one and I gained one. <laughs> yeah, and you just headshot mine. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was able to do that because he didn't know I was a spy, so he wasn't dodging. Mm -hmm. I don't. If someone knows, has totally logged on to the fact that I'm a spy, and I'll talk about that in a second. Actually, people being aware, because that's another thing I want to talk about. But if they're fully aware, they can just mash A and D, and it's really hard for me to get. Oh wow! He fell for my. <laughs> oh, he did. Uh... <laughs> I forgot that. That that one shouldn't have worked. I went around the corner. It was disguised as their pyro. Um. Because I knew their power had gone down, but when I saw them looking at the corner, I assumed I was fucked, so I was going for the nearest exit. But once he started healing me, I realized. And once he healed me for more than the brief split second that made heal everybody, I realized yeah. he bought my disguise. So I didn't have. The thing is, I could just stand there awkwardly and wait for him to go in front of me, which would never have happened. But I went around the corner and I knew he'd follow me, and then he doesn't see me, and I can do. That's a situation where tricks that actually work. Yeah. When, you, when you trick someone to thinking. Trickstabs and Highlander basically only work when someone doesn't know you're there or they don't know you're a spy. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, they don't work and you shouldn't go for them. So basically, blind stabs and corner stabs on people who don't know you're a spy yet but saw you go around the corner and are following you. Or it's the only time you should ever go for it. And they're about to die anyway, and what the fuck. Yeah. But even then, I'd usually, I think a headshot's probably a better choice. Because it's more likely, and even if you won't kill them, you'll weaken them. And that's something. But... What is my point? I forget what I was saying before Hein healed me. I don't even remember. <laughs> I have sort of... A, I'll, I'll, I'll just talk on my next main point. I have sort of an idea in my head of how aware someone is. I think a lot of people tend to think either you don't know where the spy is, or you know where the spy is. And I think that's a really flawed way of looking at it, because that's not the way people think. I didn't realize pudding was there. <laughs> <laughs> I was just recharging my dead ringer while trying to entice them to come in. Because if, like, they see a teammate on the card, they might go in. I didn't realize that, um, pudding was there and I probably should have killed him. Oops. So you just, you kind of just seem to be making, like, a circuit over and over of this yep, area. Yeah, I make circuits, last, and yeah. I'll modify, if they get wise to my circuit, I will modify it. Oh, I really wanted that. Let's see, yeah. I didn't, I didn't realize he was almost done. I kind of fucked up. Um, I definitely make circuits. I'm willing to do whatever the other team lets me do, <laughs> and circuits are generally a bad idea because they'll catch on, but in places where I use the dead ringer, I do circuits, let me put it that way. Yeah. Um, and in places where I'm using one of the two invis watches, and I consider the two 
The Cloak and Dagger Ninja Watch be modest, like variations on the same theme, mm -hmm. whereas Dead Ringer is truly different. Um, whenever I'm using one of the Invis Watches, I don't generally make a circuit, I go modify myself more on the team, but there's places where you can make circuits and where there's just like all, so many good pathways, and that's generally where I'll run Dead Ringer. What do you think about the spies who run Dead Ringer like all the time and who are intending to be more of an annoyance than they are to like getting kills? That's just like. Well, first off, I'd say there's nothing that should distract me, and there's nothing that should annoy me if you're not being lethal. If you're not threatening, I'm not. I don't care. Mm -hmm. I don't see why anyone should chase that's, you or be annoyed yeah, at all. Yeah, that's pretty much my opinion mm -hmm. of it. Is where it's like, okay, well now I have a free 10-15 seconds where I can focus on other things. And like if you're running spicicle dentering a revolver, and I know that's the thing a lot of spies are doing now. It's you're just gimping yourself. You're you're making yourself as good as you possibly can at something that your class is inherently terrible at. Um, even if you manage to get really good DPS, you're getting DPS at times when it doesn't matter. If I run around and I shoot... Hell, even if I manage to kill, like, their soldier when nobody's pushing, he'll be up, and I'll be up, and I've done nothing. Mm -hmm. I've actually had negative utility in that instance because I've lost my team, my ability to give them calls, I've lost my ability to be there to pinch when we do push, or when we, there is an opportunity. So if you're... if you... and this isn't even just for being annoying, just in general, if you get a kill that doesn't matter, you, you've had negative utility. Um, it's kind of hard to have negative... to get a kill that doesn't matter on, on Halo, though, I will say yeah. that. Because it's sort of a continuous push. That's really more of a 5 CP thing. What in the world was that? <laughs> um, Pine has a really high sensitivity. <laughs> I guess that's all you can say. He's sort of. Oh, that's actually a good time to talk about awareness. Do you want? Do you want to pause I, here, or you want to keep it going? Um, we can keep going. I don't know that I'd do anything useful for a while. Oh. I'll just interrupt myself if something interesting happens. Um, actually, let's pause. What the hell? Three, two, one, pause. Okay. Um, I'm at tick eight six five seven two. Is that roughly where you are? Uh, I'm. Tiny bit ahead of that, I can, okay, I can it's fine. adjust it. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so awareness is a really important thing to be to understand, to be aware of. Well, um, <laughs> it's not it's not a binary thing. It almost never is. The only well, I'll talk about that in a second. Um, like in general, there's sort of like levels of awareness, and there's no real like any. I'll define them in sort of general levels, but they're pretty arbitrary. It's it's not really like tiers or anything. It's not like a Metal Gear Solid game where it's like, oh, right. he's yellow. <laughs> I know he's gonna be searching for me now. <laughs> I do I do think of it as yellow awareness though. When like that. <laughs> That's uh, I won't lie. Not because I'm just. It just I don't know. Um, there's like a level zero awareness which you won't see in Highlander. Hopefully, that's like the medic on a pub who'll heal you after you stab someone. Um, that's not something if you. If the, if the if you see if there's anyone on the other team with awareness level zero like you just, they're just not even then you don't need to you don't need my help with them um, but in, so they're they're always at an awareness level where they know there's a spy out there and they know that that spy is trying to kill their important classes I would actually say there's only if you pull off a dead ring that they buy then you might they might stop thinking about you and get to that like zero percent awareness level. But that's a dead ringer that a team 100% buys is not something that I don't think that happens. You can count on very it often. It does happen. It does. It's not common. And the other problem is you don't know when it happens. Yeah. You unless like the pyro is shooting you, and then the pyro turns around and walks away, which doesn't happen. Like you can't really know when they 100% fall for it. And like even if you're really good at reading people, you don't know. Mm -hmm. Um. So you can't count on that. On, on ever having that level of awareness, but so they have a general sort of awareness, which isn't really much better. It's it's not really any better than when someone in a pub calls out "spy." Like, yeah, there's a spy somewhere. <laughs> not helpful. Um, but then they're sort of they know roughly where you are, but they don't know for sure even that you're there. This is when like someone saw you, but you cloaked around a corner. They know that you were there. And they know roughly how fast you can move, but 
after a few seconds, they won't even be able to know exactly where you went, unless it's like a really linear, cramped map. They won't know. Um, but they can if you're really obvious. Like, if they see you cloak around, say... Like, if, if they see you cloak around the right side of this shack and they were still holding first, um, they'll be able to guess that in a few seconds you're going to come out from to behind the shack. But if you just wait a few seconds, or you take a weird path, or you double back, then they... That assumption is wrong, and they're sort of back to the general level of awareness. But then there's the area where they see you, but they don't really see you. It's that time in your head where you're like, that's a spy, but you don't... Your you're general not focus is on something else, or... Yeah, like, people's attention does not shift very quickly. And depending on the class, they have a lot to think about. Um... But some some classes don't, and that's why it's really that's why I feel like NG is the hardest thing to stab in Highlander, because NG ha generally speaking, unless it's a cough, has like the least to think about a yeah. lot of the time, especially on defense. Like I don't even go for NGs. I usually run in and try and sap their shit when we push. It's extremely rare I get to kill them, because mm. they're, they're like they just have radars. They have nothing else to do. Yeah, and like the high flat teams, I hardly ever see the spy actually being the one that takes down the sentry mm -hmm. gun. Yeah, it's. It's very rare. Yeah. Um, so, like, you were talking about, hello? like... Hi, Downpour. Um, Hine with his high sensitivity. If you oh, know yes. someone plays like that, is is that something that you'll no be more likely saying. to jump into? We're doing a cast high. It, it means <laughs> that I'm more willing to go for something silly. It's more that I know Hein reacts, not just that he has high sensitivity, because I don't know that... But I know he reacts really bad to spies. Um, I think because he hates them. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I, I What I noticed about him is that he was walking back. He was in that... I, I was leading up to eventually getting back to that. Um, like, he saw that I was a spy there before I got to him. I don't know exactly when he noticed, but he didn't shift his attention fully to me, and that's why he didn't... Like, if someone has their attention fully on you, and you're sort of, like, 100% caught, and they thought, okay, that's a spy, this is what I do, they will look straight at you, and fully track you, and you aren't going to stab them no matter what. But mm -hmm. Hein was still healing his heavy, we were shooting his heavy, he was backing up, and I know he doesn't shift his attention to spies very quickly. So, I went in, it was still a gamble, but I, I take... A lot of the things, I mean, everything you do as a spy is a gamble, because until you get the kill, at the very last second they could just turn around, but... Like, you want to only take good gambles. Okay. So, I, I did that, and it part of, partially it worked out because he has high sensitivity, and I think he swung around a bit. Partially it works out because that's how hitboxes are. Um, Is there a certain spot you were aiming at, like, on him? Were you actually the waiting? Of the, the back of the model. Okay. Is where you, because, like, he was backing straight up. Mm -hmm. Um, And you can be, like, as long as you hit the back of the model you can still get a backstab. And okay. if... And is, is it something he, that you were, like, actively watching his model spin so you knew when to time it, or were you just kind really. of... Not really, no. I won't, I won't deny that there was... Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to be one of those dudes who's like, this is 100% planned. <laughs> I knew that every... No, I mean, I ran up. I was already there. I figured I'm going to stab him. I, it's like, something I'd already, you know you have a chance to get. Like, mm -hmm. based by on the time, what he does, yeah. By the time he cogged on to me, um... I was too committed to back out, like, I was dead. So, you might as well, like, don't... Once you once you're committed, you're committed. So, and I commit a lot, like, mm -hmm. I just go in. I'm very aggressive. I usually have more deaths than kills by a s small margin. But, like, I go in and I try and salvage... And if he had turned around fully, what I, what I would have done if he turned around, if I didn't get the backstab, I would have sliced him with my knife and tried to headshot him. If I got the headshot, I'd try and finish him. If I didn't, I would have gone straight for the heavy. Okay. And, like, I wasn't necessarily consciously thinking that while going for him, but you need to always be aware... Like, if you want to train one thing, it's to train yourself to immediately switch to a different plan. I wasn't thinking, I'm going to go stab the heavy if this doesn't work. It's more just that I've played enough, and I know enough that I automatically know what the next high profile target was, and killing the heavy would have been almost as good mm -hmm. as dropping the med. Because he didn't have anyone else worthwhile to uber, I think. Yeah, and that's a complete opening for the rest of us just to get right mm -hmm. up on top of them. Like, once you, once the whole team gets on that little platform, the one I'm standing on now, like, mm -hmm. there's not much 
you you have the point at that point, yeah. unless yeah. something happens. So, I guess we can unpause now. Okay, I'll uh, do a little countdown here. I'm a little. What what tick did you say you were at? Um, I'm at twenty one thirty eight. Not ticks, just time. So oh, okay. Maybe. So am I. That's fine. Yeah. So three, two, one, go. So me and Hein chat. I dip in chat a lot too. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I'll do it while, while still alive. It's probably a bad thing. It's something I've killed a couple times. Though. I'm pushing the cart because I'm pretty disposable class. And where are we pushing? Like, I get help, but mostly the lines are still being settled. Also, we didn't have time free, so we needed a third person. Like pretty much as soon as DJC jumped down there, you're gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as soon as there's times three, and it's a committed times three and not someone just stopping by. I. I figured, fuck, I'll just sap. And you had good timing, like... Mm -hmm. The rest of them right there, so it's just like one thing, and one more thing we don't have to worry about, and they were all focused on you right when we went in, and... You know, yep. That could have been a happy accident, but... Well, I knew that we were ready to push, yeah. and I saw that, like, things were really even, so if I just tilted a little bit... Mm -hmm. Obviously, I didn't want to not jump on the platform, but... Like, I fuck up a lot. I flail around a lot. <laughs> and I don't care, because I have a million other things, like... I'm just really good at shifting to the next thing. Like I, I'm like the number one derp spy, and I don't, I don't care. <laughs> it seems to work, whatever you're doing. Mhm. Mm and I see that we're we're camping that, so I'm gonna go. That sniper is the only thing that could shut that camp, our camp of their drop down. Uh huh. So I just shot at him. Didn't kill him. I did not know the soldier was fucking up there. <laughs> that I was, I was, I think I literally just was yelled out. I was like, what? There's a, like I think in in Bumble, I was like, there's a fucking soldier up top yeah. or something. Like, yeah, I don't so, think we killed too many of them on that little push, so, like... But we didn't have to, because yeah. we had so much, so good mm -hmm. control. We didn't have to kill anybody. And that's something that, like, I have wanted to bring up, not necessarily, like, just in this, but... On payloads, like... I don't know, I, I sometimes see the other team getting more kills than us, but we just force them out of, like, where they need to be holding. <laughs> much, much, like, much more than they do, so we end up winning a lot without, like, fewer kills. And more yeah, deaths in the other team. Yeah. Fewer kills is not always like if you get two kills but you're in the right position, then you're good. Mm. I was really confused. I think I looked at a telly because it was level three, but not. But there's like a current telly bug where it will go inactive for a second. Oh, and I thought that's yeah. what it was, but then it wasn't. It was actually gone. I got really lucky he didn't decide to flamethrower. I think yeah. he. Th oh, I was. This guy's is friendly, so he. I think he bought it. I don't know. Putting. In general, I think his, like, really his is shotgun. I mean, that's kind of the case mm. you're running the oh, shotgun, no, but he doesn't play near as much as a lot of people when he's running shotty out. I think it was the scrim we did last night, but twice, if I checked me from across the room with the shotgun, and I was so furious. Now, I'm friendly heavy. Oh, I don't even, I guess I put on my dead ringer late. I should have had it up. I think I got it just as soon as I put it up. But I, I don't care, because I got the cart close enough that yeah. it's sort of in a critical that's not bad. I probably shouldn't still be running. Oh no, I'm running Dead Ringer, so I can keep pushing. Yeah, the we're just kind of doing the car at this point. Because they're holding a spot where. Oh, this, we haven't decided. Yeah, this this my, was the my, first scrim mm, we had, and we were like actually way. like, hey, we should maybe actually I come up with a plan for in this game. So. Mhm. Mm well, we had, we had had a plan that worked well it, for yeah. what the other teams are doing, which is holding near their spawn, and like if I ended up with Dead Ringer, they all have to expose themselves. But now they're holding up top. Yeah. And so if I do this, I just die in two seconds, and I'm not really helping. Mm -hmm. And I don't think and we... I, it took me a while to get that. Yeah, I don't think we really had so, a plan, like, at this point no, for we, pushing we didn't last. For, yeah. We had a plan for pushing last, but not one that worked when they were holding where they are. Yeah. That was the issue. Um, so... I still... It, it's still sort of... <laughs> I forced them out. Oh, I really was hoping to get this. Yeah. <laughs> but no. It was not to be. So, it still sort of works for a re I don't think that should have worked as I don't think I should have the edge it. I'm assuming you guys are distracting them a lot, but in general, I'd say if they're holding up top, you need to go and visit watch. Or if you're running Dead Ringer, like, go to their spawn and kill whoever's there. Because adding the cart forward shouldn't work with holding up top, that's like its strength. Do like, I even, no matter what, you're, if you know your team's about to make a push, into anything, and you're gonna get there just in time for the push, that's when you go Dead Ringer. And mm. that's, that's like the only time I go Dead Ringer on 5 CPs, other than occasionally some midpoints. 
Um, it's it's if I'm dead and I, I know I'm a hundred percent sure we're gonna make a push, and I know that I'm to my team when that's happening, like dead ring can be really valuable in a push. The thing is, is that invis watch is even more valuable before a push. Make sure to click where they don't hear you, just in case. I probably failed this for most of a minute. <laughs> This is exciting so, stuff right here, folks. When you are running the cloak and dagger, you pretty much take a spot, and like if you're in a spot like this, you do you pretty much just have to own up to it. If if you get caught out, or do you do you move a lot? I don't. This spot, I don't know. I've never. When I get caught out in this spot, it's generally by the pyro, and I'm dead. Mm -hmm. Um, in other spots, like I don't sit still with the cloak and dagger very often. Honestly, I don't. In, unless I have a really good reason to, but if I am in a certain spot and holding it, I I do move before they get there. Like I, you need to constantly pay attention to where is that person gonna go? Like is that scout or power gonna go spy check, or is that soldier just gonna walk over here naturally? And you can't wait until the last second. Yeah. Like as as handy as it is to be able to weave through a crowd, and that's a good skill to have when you get caught unawares. Um. You can't you can't wait until they're up on next to you to move. You, because you're gonna run low on cloak, and you're gonna stab the med. There we go. Um, you are gonna run low on cloak if you have to weave around them. It's very inefficient, and you're you're in danger. And honestly, sometimes even when you don't flicker on your screen, you do on theirs. Mm -hmm. So you have to move ahead of time. But you, I will try and stand still and wait a bit longer if I'm low on cloak, because like the more cloak I have. Before I start moving, the more mm, the more I can dodge, and the better chance I have of getting away. But yeah, like I'll abandon a spot and go to another one way before they get there. And a lot of times, like what a pyro will do when they're just focused on spy checking. Oh, what well, you just noticed? I'll talk about that in a sec, I guess. Oh god, I just fast forwarded. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. What ticker you want? I'll skip back. Uh, I'll pause it at. One one four four seven six. Okay, let me go to that, and I'll keep talking. Um, I accidentally grabbed the fast forward slider. <laughs> Apparently, middle mouse can do that. Let me go back to me. Okay, I'm ready. Ready? Oh, uh, one sec. Yeah. Okay. Th uh, three, two, one, go. I get the sniper because I know he's valuable and it frees up our sniper, who's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, in case you're wondering why I went for that. I obviously wanted the med, but the med was not... Even though he was right next to me, he wasn't in a position where I was likely to get him. So I didn't bother. Once, once, I didn't get... Like, I, I put after the sniper, I think, but it was too late. Um, what was I saying before I fucked up? Uh... <laughs> I don't remember. I'm bad. What? I, I, I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. It's kind of a fail stab on the demo man there. Yeah, it was. I told you, I'm like the number one derp spot. Yeah. I fuck up all the time. I just know how to deal with the fuck up. Um. Fuck, I don't remember what I was saying. So, but well, I'll do another thing. You, you, you were talking about getting the sniper because you know, like you know you know we have power obviously like no sniper. Mm -hmm. Other team means he can do pretty much whatever he wants. Right. Um, do you do that with like any other classes uh, in particular? It depends. I don't think there's any other. Like I won't even do that with sniper on some places, but upwards a pretty good map for sniper. Um, there's places I'll do that with pyro. Um, especially in a place where we need to push into because pyro is just like so good at defense and air blast. Mm -hmm. But if I get their pyro, then you can run in it, air blast everyone back. Yeah. And then when one of those situations where we don't even need to get kills because we just get the point. I waited too long because I wanted the med. I should have gotten the pyro instead and just kept going forward and maybe gotten another kill. But I wanted the med really bad and I bumped into like three people. <laughs> I still got the soldier, but that's not really a good pick there. So that was one of those situations where I feel like that was negative utility. Yeah. Like, as long as I'm there, I might as well kill him anyway. And you'll notice, we lose the point and they only have a soldier dead, I think. Yeah. Um, well, no so power headshots, like everything. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, that might happen. Power power might save the day anyway, but it has nothing to do with me. And therefore, it's not it's not important, because I don't care. <laughs> I'm the important one. Um, 
But that was one of those utility things where we lost a lot of people. And I was in a... Because I waited too long. And I, it would have... Like, the pyro wouldn't have been a great pick, but it would have been better. Don't stab the mini because they'll notice, but they notice anyway. Because mm. we've... Once, see, we, we've sort of lost positioning, so there was nothing stopping them from turning around, so they do. I'm... It's still good I didn't stab the mini, though, because the mini doesn't do anything to us now anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm showing the scoreboard right now, just because I want to see, like, I want to show, like, even though you're dying a lot, you're, you're half in the scoreboard, that's, like, you're doing a lot. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I'm doing comms a bunch. I'm not really discussing comms in this, in this video, because, I don't know, I feel like if I discuss comms, I need a mumble recording. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm, my idea on comms in general is that you need one person calling for a combo, they can't push now, even if they get Uber, they can't push for a while, mm -hmm. so that's good. Um, if you need three callers, you need a caller in the combo, sort of calling what the combo should be doing, mm -hmm. and you need someone calling flanks, which is usually what you do. You yeah. usually call flanks even though you're in the combo. You watch our flanks. And you need someone calling enemy, which is typically the spy, but it can also be the scout, I guess. Yeah, and sheep kind of does that too. Sheep does it too. Because yeah, sheep but is I like everywhere like... on the map at any given moment. I feel like in general, the three main callers are me, you, and overseer. Yeah. And I just, like, I don't make any decisions, I just call everything I see on the enemy. Um, if, if someone's really hurt, not, if they're hurt and it doesn't matter, then I don't call it, but if they're hurt and they're around a teammate, I call it. Unless it's the med, in which case I call it no matter what. Um, and, like, you just call when people are flanking and you watch it, and then... Seer calls what the comedy needs to do and also calls pushes. One of the yeah. three, one of those three, like, primary callers also needs to be one side when pushes happen. Yeah, I, I doesn't kind of do that, too, but... Yeah, you like, do it a little bit. I, I do it in a more aggressive sense than anyone else does. You like, do it... Yeah. You do it when you get mad that, that nobody else is doing it. Yeah. You do it when you're like, why aren't we pushing? And obviously it does it otherwise. That place is a pretty good spot to sit on, because no one jumps on it, and if they, even if they're going to jump on it, you'll know way in advance. He stole the... He had no health. <laughs> and the health kit spawned right before I knifed yeah. him. I would have killed him with the knife. I was... Probably a bad choice, but hey. Yeah, so, something that I've, like, when spies ask me, you know, what they can do to better avoid, like, the better pyros, like, I've always said that, you know, a kill where you survive is good. Um, but at the same time, we have these, these spies, you know, that are just running around getting kind of the tr garbage can kills with uh, oh, the that's Dead Ringer and the revolver and spy mm -hmm. single loadout. Um, like, the... A kill where you survive is nice because you can do it again. A kill that matters is what you yeah. is the only thing. I a think, kill that matters is the only thing that matters. Yeah. The, the difference I, I think, think being with the mm -hmm. the doctor and force sickle loadout is or whatever not the enforced sickle but the revolver sickle yeah. loadout is that a lot of the kills they get that I see at least are kills on targets that are completely out of the fight, already hurt the rest yep. of your team, and or dying anyway. Whereas... Like, if someone's really hurt, it's nice to finish them off, but you're revealing your position mm -hmm. to kill someone who's really low on health and has to retreat anyway and already is already essentially half dead, not just because they have low health, but because they're not doing anything for a while. So, I mean, if it's the med, obviously, because yeah. he's always doing something useful. But, like, in general, you don't even get enough. I shouldn't have committed to that. I should have gone upstairs. You see how often they were going to keep going in. I was hoping... Um, I think I, another thing in my head was that I thought I had committed too far to leave, but looking at it now, I can see I could have gone back. Mm. I had enough time to get back up. Especially because I think I was running Dead Ringer. Like, I, I think I just sort of went, oh my god, they're on the corner. <laughs> um, I still called it out because I thought they were pushing from there, but, you know. No, I just saw the soldiers down beneath, I called him out. It was a really, it was something that was really not easy to see, but I think I fucked this up. Awesome. High pressure situation. See that situation where, like, I sort of, I wish I'd kill the man, but it's really hard to get a headshot because he was a hundred percent aware of me. Like I was mm. saying earlier, like he wasn't getting close. He has a fast move speed. I'm not, and I had so little time to do it because his teammates were coming. I went in vis watch. I guess I went in vis watch because I wanted to. I wanted to get upstairs, and they were because they were holding up. <laughs> what are these two doing? <laughs> they were shooting at the stick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I think we might cap now anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Did they win that? 
Uh, they they win this round. This is the one where we like. We won the first one, and they yeah, won. Yeah, the yeah. Like second. we okay. got to last with three and a half, four minutes left to push, That's and we right. didn't do it because we were we didn't do it. We were bad at this point. Because we didn't know how to deal with their whole up top strategy. Yeah. We just barely dealt with mm -hmm. the first round. Um, we, what we did, like, it snuck forward, and that should have happened, yeah. and then we pushed, and then that, I, like, it shouldn't have worked, but it just barely did. Yeah, and if anyone, I'm just gonna say, if anyone wants the mumble comms, you can hear what Frank is actually saying. We started bonus, what, but last night? Yeah. Yeah. Well, last night, um, we did two full rounds with him, and my POV, at least, along with mumble comms, is up on my YouTube channel. It was it was bonus. It was a slightly different bonus because instead of Hein, they had a submedic uh, zero skill. Yeah. Who does? I don't believe he mains medic. No, he, I, don't I think, think so. he's a sniper main. So. Yes. Zero skill there, used right? to main sni uh, sniper and scout a long time ago. Yeah. Doesn't he still snipe for a team? He team. still snipes for a Highland team. Yes, but he used to play yes. sixes competitively. Right. He was sniper for bonus Highland. for a while, but yeah, I don't know. I think Hugh Laurie is the main know. sniper now. See, oh. look. He immediately sh did you see what Pudding yeah. Cup does? That's something we don't do, and we need to start doing mm. it. Shoot that door when the round starts. Because if the spy doesn't come out that door, it takes him like two full close bars to get anywhere. Yeah. So Pudding Cup shot me with a shot with a shotgun, and then the sniper just body shot me instantly. So we need to have someone shoot that door. It doesn't have to be you. Most teams don't do it with the pyro. Most teams have a demo and or soldier shoot that door. Is this the game where I serve a sentry? Yeah. I really hope it is. Yes! We're, we're only doing Frank's POV though, so... Unless oh, Frank saw you. it. So I just have to tell you so people can't come and help kill me, and also because it'll... Either he has to come kill me, or he has to save his stuff. Mm -hmm. I did the teleporter, which is valuable, and I got away, so... That's the thing about NG, they may have um, all the time in the world to look at you, but they can't chase you and they don't have any good damage. Yeah. At long range, so... I think I'm. St if we were gonna push right then, I, w I should have gone and gotten the sentry. But these people are more valuable, I guess, than the sentry. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> if I'd if I'd gotten there a few seconds earlier, I probably would have gone for the sentry instead. If I thought I could. Well, it's just like I was saying when we were ringing, is that you rarely see you know, guys going for the sentry, getting the sentry. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know when I go for the sentry, I'm not trying to kill the NG, I'm trying to tap it. A lot of times I will suicide myself if the NG is down. Mm -hmm. To to sap the yeah. sentry. But, um, of course, you, you if you're going to do that, make sure that you know that the pyro's not running home wrecker. Because that is the worst feeling in the world. Yeah. You just sacrifice yourself to like three people and you just get sap and it's like, no. Yeah, I think pyros very rarely run the home record they don't, at our level. There was a period of time where they where everybody was, and now no one is again. I feel like. So. Yeah, because like teams just their cohesion is better. They push better mm -hmm. together, and sentries are kind of like a, it's a buffer. It's not a hard to buffer, yeah. but it's definitely like the sentries more used to split the the. Oh, um, just spawn camp four people. Yeah, that was nomadic big four. Yeah, but yeah, that was the sentry. Yeah, it's it's more of a. We need to split the focus of whoever's pushing, mm -hmm. so they can't kill both their combo and this going to kill everything if they don't, if they ignore it. So now, is that the dispenser there? Even though it doesn't matter because it's that much longer, he can't build the dispenser. Mm. I think he shot it with a shotgun anyway, though, Huey. So don't do that. Oh. The thing's gonna die from my sapper, no matter what. Just That's leave it. Points. You don't deserve points. <laughs> You're pyro. You're right. <laughs> I don't think this will kill it, but it will draw him out. And kills it anyway. So I guess he. Re I think he must have noticed I was shooting it. He must have thought it was random spam. I think he thought you were behind him. He wasn't sure where he should shoot from. Maybe. I don't. I think. Well, he. Was, well, he. That's, he was in spawn. Because you could actually see him there. Yeah, yeah. He was and looking I back behind him. And I shot. He would come out of spawn, but he went to the health cabinet. I can tell from how long he took. So for some reason he thought that instead of coming out and stopping someone shooting. Now. Oh. I think she dies, but oh no, I have the rocket. Yeah, you do. Um, but I went away from putting. That was a situation where I was basically dead, one v one. So the only run is towards my team, and it's just a mad scramble to get there before my dead ringer runs out. So always run if you're if you're escaping. Always run towards your team if at all possible, unless your team in this instance is like your medic pocketing your scout, in which case don't lead the enemy towards yeah. that. <laughs> 
<laughs> but hopefully that won't be happening. This is embarrassing. This is where we the this cart all the way here, right? Like embarrassing. two minutes and then fuck everything. Yeah. I should have got the straight form instead of getting the ammo pack first. But it doesn't end up mattering. He doesn't kill anybody in that time. Now, I've noticed at this point. Oh, I wish I got that. <laughs> Putting was smart though, I think it was intentional, he didn't go up enough. Yeah. There's an overhang, he couldn't have gone any further towards his back, so... I think he's giving way too much credit to Pudding right now. No, I don't think so. I, I don't think he's... He's smart, he's and I do the same good. thing. Yeah. If a spy is on stairs, I just pretty much stand still and play him and him know he's gonna try it. I'm trying to do the same thing I did last round, which only kind of works. Yeah. I should be adjusting my strategy, but I'm not. I'm not thinking, and that's always a bad thing. If you get shut down... If you get shut down once and you think it's lucky, that's one thing. If you get shut down twice or three times doing the same shit, stop doing the same shit. So, this now, enemy scout in here is like this. actually Squitter, right? Yeah. Okay. Situ see, that was a situation where my only other option other than doing what I did and decloaking in a terrible spot was to run back to my team and basically reset the situation, which I don't like doing, especially because we have all three, like... That's almost equivalent to dying. That was too bad. Yeah, I mean that's... I just took a little too long, he wasn't shooting at anybody anymore, he had no reason not to turn around. Cause we're not, I mean part of that is, we're not shooting them, cause we don't know how to attack that area. Yeah. So, I think I keep trying to get up there for a while, and it doesn't work because my team... No, yeah. I mean, no, 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 we, we weren't, we, we had no idea what to do here, and do now, which is the thing. Like, I should have realized that too, but like, none of us realize that we're not attacking this properly. Mm -hmm. And so I keep going there, and there's three people doing nothing, which means that I'm not going to get a stab no matter how clever I am. I thought I was running Cloak and Dagger, I guess, and I was like, uh -huh. wait, no I'm not. If I had, that would have been a good spot to be. I reset the cart there and just leave. I don't even know that if I waited as long as I thought I could, which was only about a second in that instance. Always leave before you're fucked. I don't even know if there. Yeah, this is... I, this is despair at this point. Yeah, like, I, I was having... <laughs> I was being really... just getting really frustrated um, when we first started kind of scrimming serious again, because we were going into every room without real plans, um, mm -hmm. and utility classes have such a hard time doing anything if the bulk of your team, you know, is... You know, even if they're good, smart players, if they don't have a set plan and not on the same page, it just makes it really hard to get anything done. And utility classes really, really rely on, you know, that, that pressure being yep. put on by always, everyone else. I mean, my style has always been playing off my team. I don't know why, I think I thought he was in spawn. I'm not even thinking mm. at this point, because I'm, I'm mad, and I can see from the, the tides that we're not, we're, we don't know how to push this, and we're not going to. Like, I can already kind of tell this isn't happening. Mm. So I'm kind of mad at this point, probably just going to play terribly. My screen would be stuttering. No. It might not well, I'm not missing anything here yeah. at this point. I bump a sniper. See, it's just like it's bad play from the here on out. Because I'm playing mad and I'm not getting support and I'm not supporting my team and. Like, you're not a lone wolf in this. As much as it looks like I'm doing all this stuff on my own, I'm doing it because I know where my team is and I know when they're shooting at who. Um. If the other team is good at all, I won't have any openings if I just go on my own. Um, Spy, Spy isn't, you know, he's sort of thought of as a lone wolf, because in pubs he goes off and does his own thing the yeah. most, but he's almost the most team dependent, other than maybe defensive engineer in Highlander. Um, he, he's sort of a multi of it. Like, he... He multiplies the effectiveness of his team, and he multiplies the effectiveness of him. But... You can't do anything. Infinity times zero is the fucking zero. Yeah. Okay, well that's that embarrassing And that's room. that. Yeah. And I don't know, like, did did I answer all the questions, or did I... I know I veer off a lot. Did I answer all the questions you asked? Uh, anything I asked, yeah. Um, we could, we could see if there's anything to stream, like anyone in the stream wants to ask, either, either Frank or myself, or Downpour. Downpour is here, Tom. I was gonna say, I don't know if I fully finished talking about 
the Spicicle Dead Ringer thing. Yeah. It's well, just... we're not really doing this in a like mm -hmm. really <laughs> structured format. It's just kind of just informal yeah. talking. I have a question for your backup engineer. Ellison has a question Ellison? for Ellison. Go ahead. Uh huh. Why? Why, are, why is Ellison so cool? Well, Ellison. Hold on. Let me get Ellison. Ellison, what's your answer to that? Um, because backup. That's why. I oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Backup swag. Well, Ellison. Hold on. Let me get Ellison. Yeah, audio is fine for me. I'm watching the stream. It's supposed to be being frank with Huey Lewis. I just noticed you titled it wrong. I don't know. It's right. It's that's how I wanted it. Okay. Why isn't this called being frank with Huey Ellison? Oh, so I probably should have yes. the same open. Yes, no, I do. Yes, so I have to answer questions if anybody has them. Um, but the go for the it. spicicle <laughs> is just like I don't know. I I feel like there are situations where I could run it more by itself, just in terms of not getting shut down quite so hard, but if the pyro use, hits you with it, y you have two seconds, and the pyro knows exactly where you are, mm -hmm. and he's right next to you. And there's, the, you can, you shouldn't, in most situations, you shouldn't be able to get away from a pyro in two yeah. seconds unless the pyro is really busy. And the only time I see, like, that, the spy cycle and dead ringer combo work that much is when the team is just like, okay, well, fuck it, we've had enough of dealing with mm -hmm. the spy doing this, so we're just going to ignore it and pretend that doesn't happen. If the team actually, like, goes to, you know, actually focus down the spy whenever he's just running, basically running straight up, he's suiciding like a soldier does in Highlander. And, yeah, he goes down really quickly and really accomplishes next to nothing the entire time. Yeah, and it's like, you can say, oh, well, I can live because my team ish is distracting the enemy team while I spice school away, but then you're alive to do yeah. what? To do nothing because your team is The dead. thing is, like, yeah, you hear, you hear the, like, the guys that say that, the, or the guys that play like this, they say that mm -hmm. a lot. They say, I'm using my team's distraction, and overall, they're really not. Like, the thing, well, they, the thing is, they do because, I, you know, if you do... I if would you, say it's valuable yeah. to distract the enemy team. And you, you, we saw me, like, when I win, we did second point, and mm -hmm. I just ran in and, like, sapped the level yeah. one, but they're all looking at me. But the thing is, I did that without Dead Ringer and Spice Skull, and they yeah. were still just as distracted. And that's... So, yeah, that was my point. It's like, if you do it 20 times, one of the times, it's one of the times it's going to sync up with what your team yeah. is doing. <laughs> you know, it's just... That's going to happen eventually. And it, I rarely ever see an actual... Um, you know, an actual synchronization play with the spy, or with a spy that's that's playing like that. It's more that it's, you know, just blind luck that the, the team actually manages to, mm -hmm. to actually push or anything like that. Personally, I have pretty good aim. It's really inconsistent, so some nights I don't, but I generally have pretty good aim. Um, and I think that I use it pretty well, but I, I almost never shoot more than two shots. If I shoot two shots, I'm almost certainly cloaking after that. I, it is extremely rare. I Sometimes I'll get down to like three. I've I. If you're shooting more than that, you're wasting your time. Mm -hmm. And almost any situation, like unless, unless you're fighting someone who needs to die and they have very low health, and in those situations I usually end up missing anyway because I have terrible aim under pressure. So, <laughs> like I it just, I'm still I, those situations usually don't pan out for me anyway. Which uh, YouTube channel are you? Planning on using I'm this. Morning Dove Menace. Um, all you'll find on there, though, is funny replays, which, I mean, feel free to watch them. I think they're funny, because I made them. Um, I haven't made it in a while, because the pub server I go to now has had broken replays until recently. Um, I don't really have anything else interesting on there. I've thought about putting more stuff up, but... Well, we're going to try to get this up on there, along with yeah, any, any more that we there. might do. Yeah, I'll put this up on there. Mm-hmm. So hopefully, if, I, I if really want to do like a five CP one, because yeah. I think that, like, I feel like I like I want I should have probably maybe gone over my watch choices more and upwards because I have like really specific like I know exactly what I want to do outside of two points outside outside of two areas on the map. I know exactly what watch I want to run in different situations. Um, so I should have gone over that more, but I feel like in general, spies know how to play payload. Mm-hmm. Payload for Spy is probably the one that's most similar to pub play. And I feel like that's why a lot of Spies really like it in Highlander. I mostly don't like Payloads in Highlander, because generally speaking, you have to do this as a Spy. You're doing the same shit over and over, and there's no freedom. Um, 
I, I'd like upwards though because I feel like there actually is a lot of freedom there. Because the other team could be doing a lot of things and you can do a lot of things to counter it. So I find that really fun. Um, but in general, like, payload's very similar to a pub. Not just for Spy, I think for kind of everybody. So I want to do a 5CP one of these. Yeah, because I feel like that's... That, like... That is the that is the hardest to grasp, I think. Yeah, and, and I think I think that's where I excel. I'm best at five CP. Yeah. I love granary so much. Yeah, I'm I'm with you. I like five CP way more. I think anyone who's ever watched me realizes that. <laughs> um, we do have the the STV of the the BPM game on Gully Wash, which it was a pretty close game. Yeah, it was. I, f I feel like I was kind of half asleep during that, but I still did well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I remember a lot. Of or which one was the BP? That wasn't that wasn't Friday, was it? Um. It was like oh, last was Monday or Sunday or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah no, that one. That one was all right. We could do that. Yeah, I have we the SUVs around until, somewhere. Yeah. We might want to wait until Gully Week though. Yeah. Well, maybe. I mean, I don't think I, I don't. Wait. I think that one is good too. Yeah. I, I don't necessarily want to be like spots. let's let's only do the maps that we're playing this week, so anyone yeah, who potentially true. plays us can see what we might be doing. <laughs> but I still think the best match I've played was the one on Granary when I first sub for you guys, and I was like, I I killed five for like eight times. It was beautiful. Yeah. I feel like that was my best one. And you've been, I don't know, like, the last few, you've just been beasting, like, against Bonus last night, I mean, granted, it was zero skill, but zero yeah. skill's a smart player, it's not like he's gonna be a bad medic or anything, and the rest of that team was there. Um, who else have we played? We played the IFA, or the, yeah, the IFA Reborn or whatever, mm -hmm. you know, the night before. Uh, we played and... all the really good teams except for MTS, yeah. and we've held up, we've beat them all. I, I mean, Aside I think from Bonus... Syndicate, we haven't played Syndicate except lately. For, no, we yeah. haven't played Syndicate lately, that's true. Last time we played them, I feel like we were still getting our shit together, but we had one good game against them, and it was still really mm -hmm, close. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know how we fare against the Syndicate. I don't know how we fare against MTS, yeah. but I'm pretty. I feel like I'm comfortable against everyone else. Uh, Signals is telling me the BPM took a round off Syndicate a couple nights ago. I think. I feel like Syndicate is going to be a little bit inconsistent because yeah. I feel like there's a lot of personalities on that team. And I can't imagine them all getting along at all times. So it wouldn't like I wouldn't be surprised if we see see them doing very. I don't think they're going to be weak. I think they're going to be very strong. But I wouldn't be surprised if we see some surprise round taking mm -hmm. from them. Yeah, I think it's very similar to Gorgeous Gamers. Like everyone just assumes they're going to win everything, but I don't. They think don't. Gorgeous they don't show up. Trying. Yeah, they don't. They don't know what class they're playing until they get yeah. in the server. Shades seem to think that they're gonna they're gonna take first or second, and I don't, I don't think they I will. Unless that's why they I can only start DM your system. System. Yeah, that's why I didn't even list them as like the really good teams this season that we face. And by the way, if if there's a team out there that thinks they're good that we haven't faced, I don't really necessarily mean to insult you. I might just not have thought about it. Um, actually, it's although you're actually meanie. no, you're you're probably everyone is terrible. We're the best. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I didn't. I wouldn't even list Gorgeous Gamer as as top like four or maybe even six. Like I don't think they're gonna be there because I I honestly don't even. I expect forfeit wins. Yeah. And even if there's not forfeit wins, there've been teams with a lot of invites before that, like Team Field. Didn't they have like four invites? I. In the, I don't or I guess they couldn't have yeah. had four. They no, had a, they, they had a lot they of IM three. players, they but they just they didn't give a shit. Yeah. They had like Romeo like, Love and stuff. Team Field. Team Field. I don't think they had Romeo Love, I think... He played from... when we played against them in the playoff. Didn't oh, they maybe. have a River Dude? Romeo Wait, Love was... Team Field in the playoffs? Because we got knocked down to Silver, because oh, we had a ridiculously right. hard schedule. No, you had uh, the hard schedule Romeo Love was tagged up as Captain Jean-Luc Picard, I believe. Yeah, oh, that's right, he yeah. does do that. I guess he was playing. I think most of Lonely Hearts kind of hates UGC, yeah. that's my understanding. Yeah. But I guess maybe he played... But, like, Team Field was... No offense to anyone on that team, they weren't even trying. No, they really like, weren't. And I think Gorgeous Gamers is the same thing. It doesn't have a lot of the same people. Like, I think they'll, I think they'll try when they come in, but like to play a match. But yeah. it's just going to be that. Like, and I that remember, alone. like, I we faced them with MFU, which at the time was falling apart for a lot of reasons, and we rolled them. So I don't like they had a shotgun heavy. <laughs> I, I like I do I don't know. I I feel like if you don't. Scram and Highlander, you're not gonna do well, unless you have a team full of people who have all played on good teams before, yeah. and that's something they don't have. Like you can DM your way to a certain extent. To a certain extent, you can DM your way, but like if it becomes I don't map, think that they have that much of a DM advantage over us to overcome. Does. To overcome not scrimming, yeah. I don't think so. I think it's pretty map dependent. I, as yeah, well. if they play a five CP or a cough map, 
it's gonna be a cough not yeah. one every time. A cough. Yeah. I, they might. Yeah, but I don't even. I five CP is different enough. I don't know. Yeah. Like there's... they're gonna run in and get spammed to death. On a, on a five CP. I don't know. I mean, they're they're gonna be smart, but they're just not gonna be used to the craziness. I think. I think. Uh, like you'll do pretty well. I think I will do pretty well against them. Yeah, I know. And, I love playing against yeah. six as medics who have a Highlander. It's so much. It's mm. so easy. Like. <laughs> It's just not hard. Like, I mean, they're absolutely going to play smart, but they're just not going to be generally used to kind of the wackiness of the format. I mean, they're on what is essentially, you know, top one or two team in the freaking world, so a lot of those players are, so it's not like they're going to be dumb or anything. They're not like they're going to be bad, but... Yeah, there's a certain amount of things you have to, like in Highlander, if you come in and play, you have to kind of look out for, and I've seen a lot of Sixes players jump down into Highlander and just do really, really poorly even if they're high mm -hmm. IM or invite, just because they, they don't expect some of the weird crap that can happen. <laughs> Mostly in, like, they're they're really just not used to full-time pick classes, I think. Sniper yeah, and spy. Yeah, that's the biggest, yeah. the biggest change, is that there's always a sniper and spy, and you can't shut down... Like, they're used to snipers, at least, but you can't shut down a sniper the same way you can. Mm -hmm. Like, in sixes, there's a, as soon as you figure out there's a sniper, you jump them. And Highlander, the, you jump the sniper, and there's a heavy and a sentry. Gun. Yeah, and and in general, there's just there's just more stuff out there that you mm. have to deal with, and like. And you know that they're bitching. Yeah, about you. like Overseer has said that Highlander medic is at least more stressful and probably a little bit harder than you know Six's medic, just because there's all these things you have to worry about rather than you know just the general you know blob of two soldiers, two scouts, and a demo. Yep. Um, and Power someone has in, said sniping in, in Highlander is harder. GG isn't playing. No, they're not. Uh, yeah. Or not. Oh, that's not Gorgeous yeah, Gamer. Yeah, that's Gangsta That's game. actually GG. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, I would, I would say... Frank, like, you're dumb. I am dumb. Oh, Jesus. Shots fired. Fucking brutal. I'm quitting this team. I'm done. Oh, God, look what you've done. He's done. I'm going to Max He's Lander, so man. <laughs> <laughs> that, that thread about Max Lander is the funniest thing. It is oh, pretty beautiful. good. It's no, all platinum players the funniest complaining. Thing it's is all Garmin. platinum players complaining. Like, I... I shouldn't, I'm not going to speak for any silver players, but I know when I started out, I loved playing teams that were better than me. Like, I, that's the whole point. Like, Weird. like some, sometimes people in my team would be like, oh no, we have to go up against, like, why did you schedule scrims with so-and-so, or oh, we got matched up against, like, looking, or whatever, and I was like, that's fucking great, I'm really excited to play them. Yeah, the only way to improve is to play people who are better than you. Yeah. In fact. Like, I and was... Like, my only no issue with it, like, if they want to stay on there, it's fine. My only issue with it, with it is that there are about, you know, at least half the teams in Platinum are just really not that good. I wish Platinum would be a stronger division than it is. Mm -hmm. And I think that team can definitely yeah, play in true. Platinum. That's but, true. Yeah. I would, it, they should be there because it would make Platinum better, but... I don't know. I don't really have a problem with them being there. And what I'll also say is maybe they might... I haven't seen them play, but from the sounds of things, they could genuinely be silver. Like, just because you have three good players, that leaves... They have three invites, and I know they're Pyro, and he's good. Mm -hmm. And other than that, that's five players who I don't even know, and they could be garbage. And that's more than half a team that's garbage. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know who they are. I don't know how good they are. From, uh, like, from what Soap has been saying, they've been playing the IFA Reborn team at least a couple times, and... Reborn has been barely winning. Hmm. So, you know, Reborn, they're a good team. They are a good team. Yeah. Was I'm... that before or after CPL? No, nah, man, they're I shit. Don't, know. don't worry about it. <laughs> they're less good now that their hacker's gone, but... <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do they... They don't... They don't have a... They still only have, like, eight starters, right? Uh, I think they have Mason. Oh, okay. Oh, man. That team's gonna die. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I've played, like, Pugs with Mason, and he does not worry me on Soldier at all. It's not even that. It's that he's kind of a huge dick. Yeah. It's fun. You see some of these chat logs between Firefly and Mason, where, like, they're scheduling UGC 6s. And Mason is just not responsive. Firefly's like, so can we scrim Thursday? And he just, just takes him, like, 40 minutes to say no. Can someone send me, like, something funny to read on UGC or something? Like the Garma thread again or something? Everything on UGC? Garma thread, oh Go. god. Go so, to. I guess before we finish this, like, 
Or is it offline now? Or nope, we're still on. Okay. Yeah. Like, I don't... I only just opened the stream. I should probably should have it open the whole time so I could answer questions if anybody had any. But if anybody in the stream has questions, I can answer them too. Yeah, we'll give it like another five or so minutes here. I will t I will talk about TF2 for 20... for like 20 hours. I don't even care. And... Um, I think Basically. I think tomorrow I'm free in the afternoon, I think. So if you want to do the BPM one. The, I the may Golden be one. working then. What? And I may be seeing a movie then, so it may not be the best time. You have a life? Um it's occasionally I ridiculous. play it having one. What time are we are we streaming tomorrow? Yeah, nine thirty Eastern. Okay, cool. I'll be home by then, so Considering I just found out that like our client we're supposed to send out like on Monday doesn't work. Um, I might have to do a whole bunch of work. I don't know. Mm. Or it might be nothing. I don't. I don't really know how it's gonna work out. That's fine. Well, if you're around, um, I think okay. I, I think I will be. Want to scream a the frag video, Huey? What? Stream a frag video. Let's do that. Not really. Okay, Mr. Slun. I'm not really sure that someone's asking in your chat what do you think is the strongest Platinum Highlander team this season. I'm not really sure. I think a lot of teams are still forming in a lot of ways. A lot of the good teams are still like sort I, of yeah, solidifying. I think MTS is definitely the I, team to beat. Like, there's I did, no I doubt think about it. They are the team to beat, yeah. but I haven't seen them play, so I don't. They play pretty well. Like they, I, if they play well, yeah, they, they are the team to beat. Generally sure. beat the Syndicate hands down. I've seen the Syndicate take a couple of rounds off them. Not much though. That could have changed. We should play in against the, the Syndicate week. again. Yeah, we should. I'm working on it. That'd be cool. Yeah, I think MTS is going to be the top. I think Syndicate is going to be MTS is not technically running. a new team, but it's almost completely different from what it was yeah. before. It's basically classic mix-up, the Highlander yeah. team. Yeah. It's it's a Highlander team. How many invites? Uh, like, like three or four. Uh, it's like six or seven, I think. I was going to say, I think it's like is six it? or seven. They have two. They're, I, I know that they're... Moose, Harblue, Enigma, Platinum, uh, O-Played... Zaylogs, please. Well, Plat plays demo. Yeah. Is Zaylogs playing with them? He's, he's on the roster. Yeah, he's, he's been on. He's, back that was his team before, cool. basically. Yeah. And then, like, I know, like, I think their starters who are considered the weaker ones are like Light Off and Jero, and I don't think they're bad. Yeah. So. And Marissa on snipers. I don't think she's as good as a lot of the snipers in Plat, but she's solid. So. Mm -hmm. And she's got that entire team to, you know, be a buffer zone for her. So. Right. Yeah. Which is scary. Yeah. And then the so that's a yeah. lot of people. And <laughs> I don't like. I don't know what that's gonna. And the syndicate is you know a couple invites and basically UGC all stars. Mhm. Mm or people who are at least in the running for all stars. And former undefeated land champions. Yeah. So those two are the teams that you know everyone's kind of watching out for. Syndicate's obviously more defeatable, more within grasp to, you know, teams like us and Bonus and BPM, I think. Um, I don't, I'm wondering if Mustard Overlord's team is going to be pretty good. I really What's don't his know team them. name? Swarth and the Swarth S. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't... That sounds like a Mustard yeah. Overlord name. Yeah. I don't know if they're even playing this week because he didn't get it up in time, I don't think. I'm not sure. XXX, Simplicity Reunion, XXX. Yeah. Oh, and there's another team in Platinum now. The Scummy Bears or something like that? Yeah. Who's on it? Thief? Oh. I don't know who that is. He didn't he's play the Lobby. Uh, yeah. This looks like... He, if, I, he's, if he's running that team, then everybody's going to be using weird loadouts at all times. Yeah. The only person I recognize so is Floppy I'm not Thief. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. I don't recognize anyone, really. They could be. This may well be all like weird aliases. I know he's not a bad guy, but he gets kind of contentious when you aren't running ridiculous loadouts. I know some of the, one other person on the team, Foot Penis. He's that's a that's good a, name. Yeah, not a bad soldier. I am legitimately surprised that Foot Penis is not a bad soldier. I didn't say he was good. <laughs> Said he's not bad. 
I'm just assuming he's going to play a soldier for him. Well, it doesn't sound like they're one that's going to be any real threat. It'll be fun to adapt yeah. fan jumping every 30 seconds mm -hmm. by their scout. I, don't know, I feel like we we can be top three easily. I think that we, we're going to have to you know watch ourselves, though, because there's a lot of teams that are going to mm -hmm. you know, surprise us. BPM is very solid. I think if we figure out, I think I think generally, as long as we make sure to really understand the map, we play well. And yeah. if we don't, we're not we don't see we're not the kind of team that can walk into a map and just go, well, let's just do it, because mm -hmm. that seems to just everybody gets frustrated and then we start playing worse. And so we just need to make sure to like spend some time to go over the map, and I think we'll be good. Yeah. And I th I think we'll do pretty well. I think so. I mean, since we've been doing that, like. This is kind of like mm -hmm. my proudest thing is that we haven't lost at all. Like since we've started going mm -hmm. over maps, we haven't lost a single scrim. That was the last round we lost. I th no, that's probably not true. No, we we've lost rounds. We've lost, lost rounds, rounds for sure. Because we've done we've done five CPs. Yeah, so yeah, on thinking. those. Yeah, we haven't we haven't we lost, have lost a we haven't lost a, a payload or no, yeah no, we no. haven't lost a payload round since then. But we've lost five CP rounds. We mm -hmm, usually win, sure. and I think we tied BFL on the first time we did gully, like two yeah, all or true. something like that. And team player is going to be good, but I don't think they practice that much. Like, their their strong points are definitely going to be the five CP maps. I think sure Skull Cookers go is going to be the number one team. They currently have three players. I think they're going to win platinum. They got this. They're so they're confident there. they ain't even bringing the other six. <laughs> well, Scroll Clickers is a uh, yeah. Go for it, great guys. No have lost. Monster, why did you send this? Because it's great. Someone I, wants to ask you a question in stream. Yeah, I told him to go for it. I'm making um, I'm making a pet called Monster, and I'm only feeding it. And then when it showers, I make sure that the water doesn't hit him, so he smells bad, just like you. You're welcome. What's more important, watching the combo constantly or outputting good damage? Pyro's not really a damage class, so. Until like the combo is actually pushing up actively and like trying to move and do damage themselves, you want to make sure they're you know able to get to that point. So you're kind of watching them and you're putting damage on anything that's trying to get to them. But um, once you're pushing, yeah, do damage help them. Like you know, of if I get 60 to you know 100 damage on someone that the heavy is also shooting, he's dead instantly basically. And that's why I've been running shotgun more, is because I'm I'm just kind of peppering things while other people are also shooting or you know, throwing stickies on them, and it just they die that much quicker when there's you know even a little bit more damage on them. But I'm not like going out looking for kills or looking to put damage on people if they're not actively threatening the combo, like unless we're you know in the middle of a push or something. So there's that. No problem, man. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the stream. I think we've been at this for quite a while, so. Yeah, it's been a long thing. Yeah. That's cool. We'll, we'll do more of these. I don't think these, I can I upload think. this as one video on YouTube, actually. Can Maybe I? Maybe not. I don't know. I know, like, you have to, like, have uploaded some long things. You have to first, upload long then, things to well, yeah, be you, able to upload well, long yeah, things. Well, yeah, pretty much. Like, the more you upload, you'll get like an like. After you upload a bunch of stuff, you're gonna notice like, hey, you've been approved for uploads longer than 15 minutes. All I've uploaded is replays, so I don't know. If yeah, I, can... I mean, we could put this one on mine if if we want. Um, and... Sure. I mean, I don't need to. Like I said, my channel is barren. It's literally just yeah. replays, <laughs> yeah. so I. They're funny, but I don't need. We'll like, fix that eventually. I think it, next so. time we do this, I might not. I don't know if I'm gonna stream it or if I'm gonna try to just capture it because it sounds like a, a few people at least were having trouble with the audio video stuttering. Oh. So. I don't know, we'll see. I'll, I'll rewatch I mean, this. We won't, but if you capture, I'll have to listen to your breathing over the whole That's thing. That's true. I hate the mic when I do that. I don't know why it does that. Actually, I know why it does that. It's just stupid. You should just stop breathing. Oh, you're right. Start now. Yeah. Alright.
So thanks for watching, everyone. We'll try to do, you know, another couple of these, perhaps. Yeah, thanks for listening to me ramble for, like, an hour. Jesus. And, you know, I think it'd be a good idea to, like, bring more team members in. And, like, we can we can d maybe do, you know, different little episodes or something with... In Frank with Huey Lewis starring guest stars. Yes. But yeah, we, we definitely want to try to continue doing some stuff like this, if, you know, time permitting. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.